<clears throat> okay, hi everybody. Um, I am Michelle Skocek and I am tickled pink that all of you are joining us tonight. Um, my co-host tonight is Alana Thompson. Can you wave, Alana? There's Alana. And we are joining you from <clears throat> Texas. It's about, what, 45 degrees here, a little bit chilly. And uh, we are getting ready for Thanksgiving. It is Monday of Thanksgiving week. So I hope that this is very timely for you and that this um, can help you out with all of your holiday um, preparations in many different ways. Um, okay, so everybody grab an oil. Let's go back to gallery view. Who's, what oil do you have nearby? Okay, everybody's got to put on an oil. Oh, <laughs> Alana, you and I picked up the same one. We got some valor going on, don't we? So, okay, let me give you a little bit of something I learned just recently. I went to a Young Living event and um, one of my friends taught me like, ah, oh, look at that, Robin got some stress away. So we're never supposed to shake oils out of the bottle. They said <clears throat> that it's a very important time period in which you drop the oils and you're supposed to um, drop it from your hand about four to, or drop it over your body about four to five inches and you tilt it and you wait for it to drop. And they say that that waiting is well worth it. It helps the oil. There you go, there. Tina. Oh, awesome. Very good. It helps the oil um, acclimate to your body. Okay. <clears throat> um, all right. And make sure you have a drink handy. Bergamot. Love bergamot. Yum. Okay, so, so far we don't have any issues with um, any, I think everybody's muted. We don't have any background noise, but if we start to have background noise, um, we just have to make sure everybody's muted. Um, let's see what other housekeeping things. Um, that might be it. Can you think of anything, Alana? Um, okay, let's maybe talk about the elephant in the room, at least for me. Do you guys hear my, my scratchy voice? Uh, Alana might have a bit of a scratchy voice herself. Um, and so, honestly, you guys, I consider this a major success. Because if I didn't have my oils, I would probably be in bed right now. But I actually feel 100% fine. Um, had a busy day, got a lot of work done, and whatever is going on in my throat didn't slow me down at all. I am drinking lots of Ningxia Red. I am doing a little lemon drop, and I am enjoying these right now. So, you hear a little scratchiness in my voice, don't worry, we got this. <laughs> so, <clears throat> all right, so let's get started. We were talking about the holidays and how to keep them stress-free. And we're gonna talk about some gifts that we can do that are nice oily gifts, nice healthy gifts and some awesome cooking recipes that we're gonna talk about. So <clears throat> let's kind of first talk about the holidays, okay? I bet with a crowd this size, there is more than one of you in this crowd who isn't actually that excited about the holidays, okay? That just 
saying the word holidays or that whole Christmas countdown just strikes a little fear in your heart. And you start to feel all of the years past and maybe disappointments or family drama or just the pressure of it all. But you showed up to this anyway. And seriously, I want to say kudos because you came to the right place because I want to give you a handful of tips to help us all do the holidays really well. Okay. <clears throat> so um, I can't be the only one. Hopefully I'm not the only one in the crowd and I'm just going to get real vulnerable here. But um, have you ever found yourself during the holidays uh, like a little bent out of shape about something? Um, just like all of a sudden, right? Maybe getting that perfect gift or having that perfect recipe or getting that perfect family photo. Hmm. But, you know, you get all mad about it without even really realizing why. Um, <clears throat> and especially, I think the majority of us are here are women. Um, I don't want to exclude any of the men that might show up. But especially us as women, we work really hard to make everything perfect for everyone. And then we end up being the one who has like this terrible holiday, stressful time. And it just doesn't have to be that way, does it? So what should we do? <clears throat> Is this really avoidable? Well, I say yes, 100%. One of the most powerful things that I have um, learned recently is to really be intentional. And I hope this helps you because it's really helped me a lot. <clears throat> so that to me really means that like I get to decide what the holidays will mean and <clears throat> and I don't have to just respond to things that happen or things that don't happen the way I want them to. And so um, here's what this looks like. Okay, so you sit down to do some Thanksgiving or some Christmas planning. Here's what you do. You grab some of your oils. Okay, this is the process. So my favorite one, and I'll probably bring this up a whole bunch, is frankincense, especially if anything regarding the holidays makes you anxious. So frankincense, drop it. Smell, okay. Say a little prayer. And set your, it's called like setting your intention. Um, and ask, okay, what is it that I really want? So let's just take Thanksgiving coming up. What is it that I really want? Okay, I have my neighbors coming over um, and I get the honor and privilege of hosting. Um, does that make me a little nervous? Yeah, does it make, do I want my home to be perfect? Yeah, but what is my actual, do I want the food to be good? Yeah. I mean, I'm not making all of it. Let's not, let's not get outrageous here. But, <clears throat> but what is my actual goal, right? What do I want those around me, those coming to my home, what do I want them to remember? Um, people aren't going to remember, well, they might remember how good the food was, but <clears throat> they're not going to remember whether or not I had perfect Christmas decorations or Thanksgiving decorations or whether or not I skipped over Thanksgiving at all and went right to Christmas or whether or not I had a tree up or I didn't have a tree up or whether there was a, <clears throat> a dust ball in the corner or any of that stuff. What are they going to remember? They're going to remember how I treated them and how I made them feel. So my goal in Thanksgiving is in planning my Thanksgiving is actually to help people feel welcome and wanted and comfortable in my home. Um, and so when I first look at that then, and I recognize what that is, that's like my intention of it. And it, it kind of, um, it goes into everything else that I do. So that if I know that that's what I want, that will guide how much I actually worry about what kind of plates I have, okay? I don't like my plates that I have. We've had them the entire time we've been married. 
<clears throat> and it's kind of funny, everything that we have, that we've been married almost 19 years, everything now is breaking. My husband even used the blender <laughs> that we got for our wedding and it caught fire. <laughs> and he had to set it outside. So it's time for me to get new plates. Am I gonna actually worry about that this week? I don't know. If it happens, it happens. But when I keep my intention, that I want my guests to feel welcome in my home. I don't, I'm not going to get all bent out of shape of whether or not I got new plates. Okay. So I may do it. I may not do it. If it ends up not working out, I'm going to decide now that I'm not going to worry about it because it's not that important. Um, so in all of this, what I'm trying to say is I want you to first concentrate on you. You have got to be in really good spirits for those around you to be happy. Isn't that, isn't that right? So <clears throat> take a little bit of time and consider what might upset you during the holidays. Um, what are going to be those little things that are going to trigger you? Um, like, is it your kid's last Christmas before leaving for college? Or maybe you have aging parents, or maybe it's your first Christmas without a loved one. Um, it is for me, um, so that will be new, but I'm like really recognizing that that might be something that triggers me. Or maybe <clears throat> um, holidays in your home when you were growing up, maybe they weren't that happy. And so you have to recognize what that is and like maybe where those feelings are coming from. And I honestly encourage you to just take some time to process through what some of those emotions are, let yourself fully feel them. If you're disappointed at what something that happened with your parents, your childhood, you know what? Be disappointed. Don't push it off to the side so that it comes up later when you're trying to have a good time with your own kids and that's kind of nagging at you. So I encourage you to <clears throat> use your oils. There's an amazing technique called an aroma freedom technique. And you can Google that. And um, there's some really great practitioners. Um, uh, Benjamin, I forget his name now. Heather Harbaugh does it. Um, but, ben Perkis. Oh, yeah, Ben Perkis. He wrote a book about it, and it's very doable. You don't have to hire somebody to walk through this process with you. You could probably find it on a ton of websites right now. There's a process by which you walk through these emotions. You smell your oil. You think about the memories that come up, and you deal with them, and you reassociate them with something healthier so that you're not reacting to your emotions, and you're actually dealing with them. So, you know, it's kind of removing a trigger or a frustration. So, um, the other oils that are actually really good for this kind of thing are something like acceptance. Um, release is another one of my favorite oils. Um, another one that I've been using a lot lately is actually Trauma Life. And for me, um, we could do a whole class just on emotional oils, and sometime we probably will do that in here. Um, <clears throat> but trauma life for me and my experience, it has taken um, like a traumatic memory of some sort and transferred it in, into, it, it transfers the emotion into something that I can have a greater understanding about. So it's not like it wipes out an emotion, but I don't have to be controlled by that emotion. I can have a greater understanding of it and its place in my life. So I'm not reacting to it, um, but I am acknowledging it. So <clears throat> when something starts to trigger your frustration or your anxiety, grab that oil that you've worked through and let the oil help you remember what you've been working through, okay? So I do suggest that you pick one oil in particular. Go through some of the ones that you have. It could be Valor, it could be acceptance, it could be white angelica, it could be stress away, frankincense, lavender. A lot of these help um, deal with emotions. Um, open up your oils and let, and let your body, let your heart kind of dictate 
what it is um, or what you, that you like, okay? If you're drawn to an oil, then choose that oil, okay? There's no formula for this at all. And then I suggest that you carry that one around so that you have it handy, that you can always go to it. Um, and it helps you to remember that you are the one who is being intentional about the way you want your holidays to go, okay? Kind of picture in your mind the way you want it to go. Um, and when it doesn't go that way, you bust out your oil and it's gonna allow you to be a little bit creative when <clears throat> you know your mother-in-law once again brings up, you know, you're sitting there at Thanksgiving and she once again brings up, you know, why you don't spend more holidays together? You can go into creative mode and not reactionary mode. And you can be like, aren't you glad we're doing this now? Hey, let's go play a game, <laughs> you know? And you can stay in control, especially of yourself and your reactions and your emotions. Um, so it's good to have a little bit of a plan there. Um, another thing is envision. That's an excellent one. Thank you. That one's excellent. Um, envision, and this might be what you're talking about. Envision is really good for um, when we become overwhelmed with something. Envision actually helps us keep that like from being overwhelming. And right to that point is my next point is about managing your expectations. Like we can do it all. Okay. We just can't do it all right now. So when you get that great idea of something that you want to do for Thanksgiving, and it doesn't work out this year, then, then, then you can do it next year, okay? So maybe not right now, but you could do it another time, okay? Be realistic about what you can do and let that be enough for you, okay? Again, remember that people don't remember all that you fussed about, just that you fussed, okay? Um, and they remember how you made them feel about themselves. Okay, so um, if holidays do stress you out, and this is kind of a particularly hard time for you, I want you to plan ahead. So um, plan to do some like hot baths with your favorite de-stressing oil, okay? Ugh. Go to Costco and get this guy. Epsom salts. This is the most relaxing thing in the world. It provides your body with magnesium, which really helps you. Um, uh, it's a real de-stressor. <coughs> um, and this is a great way to get it in. So when you take a hot bath with your oils, you take like a handful of this, and then you put like stress away, you put it in the salt. You can't put an oil just right in your bathtub because oil and water don't mix. It's gonna float right on top. And then it's not gonna be very good. It's not gonna be in the water. But if you put it on the salt, like a handful, put the salt in your hand, put a few drops on there, the oil attaches to the salt molecule and then you dump the salt in, it only takes seconds. You don't have to let it sit there and get all into the salt it dumps it in there so that now that the oil is attached to the salt molecule, it suspends throughout the water and it doesn't float on top. Isn't that awesome? I love that. So then plan to use the whole thing. I got this at Costco, it's like four bucks. And the whole month in the bathtub. Um, and then my last tip is prepare to, um, oh wait, it's not my last tip. For that. Okay, get good sleep. Sleep is the only way that you can recover and, um, and really manage your, um, it really does help you manage your emotions. I mean, we all know if you're not sleeping well, oof, um, you really can't control <laughs> anything. <laughs> so my favorites to get a good night's sleep, and these are perfect in roll-ons because you can put it right next to your bed. And then I can grab it like Tranquil. When my thoughts are moving really fast, I grab Tranquil. And the other one I like to keep by my bed is the Rudavala. Rudavala has <clears throat> Valerian in it. 
I probably shouldn't put that on now. What am I thinking? Um, valerian, <clears throat> have y'all smelled valerian? Valerian is very powerful. It does not smell good. It smells like feet. Feet without good smelling oils on them. <laughs> okay. Um, but when they put it in the Rudavala blend, they blended this expertly. So it has rue, it has valerian, and it has lavender. They put it in this and it's like the perfect blend. Um, unfortunately, you can't always get this. The reason why I tell you that is because when it is available, it's available at different times and for different like promos and things. Like the last time it was available was only at like a 300 promo level, I think. Um, when it's available, get it because it's the rue that's very um, limited in supply and so, and, and valerian, um, limited in supply so they can't have it forever. Okay. Um, another, oh, sleep essence. I love sleep essence. It's, you just take a capsule and it's got so many um, great oils in it. Oh, Tina, it's your favorite too, huh? That's awesome. Okay. Um, the other thing <clears throat> that I highly recommend is meditating. Um, at least twice a day. It is like a mental muscle that helps with everything like productivity. I mean, it's a list of, it's on a, every list of what successful people do. They meditate. And what it is, is it's really mind focus. So like, I like to do it after lunch and before dinner. It kind of resets my day, especially just like closing my eyes. And you just, it's not emptying your mind of thoughts. It's just controlling your thoughts in a very intentional way. I have that app called Headspace and it's free. And you can set up just different little um, daily meditation things according to whatever your goals are, whatever your affinity for is, five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, um, whatever fits you. But it really, really helps. And again, grab your oils while you do that. Um, uh, it's like a reset for your day. So it's like taking a nap without having to take a nap. Good oils for that are, again, frankincense and grounding. Um, another oil to have handy is white angelica. White angelica is, um, you know, when you walk in, when somebody walks in the room and you feel the atmosphere sort of shift, it's because that person isn't on your same wavelength, like they've got a bad vibe. You know all those phrases that we use? That's actual, actually a physical thing called frequency. And when somebody is a very negative person, they have a very negative, they have a frequency that is, you know, if you your frequency goes like that, it would be dissonant with your frequency. So it's literally like um, you just, you don't see things eye to eye. So white angelica actually has a way of protecting their from interfering with yours. So it's a, a real physical thing. So you just take the white angelica and you put it in your hand and you just kind of like shield yourself. Okay. Um, that's also another just uh, very biblical thing is to, um, is to actually pray that. And that's just like shields up. Don't, um, you know, Lord, don't let me be um, affected by those that you don't want me to be. Okay. That's a very biblical principle. Again, for an entirely other class, we could do that. <laughs> um, another oil, I didn't grab it. Oh, it could be handy. Anyway, another oil that you should consider is Endoflex. Um, some of you might have been at my house yesterday and we busted out the Endoflex and a lot of people are very drawn to it. I know I totally was. And for a number of reasons, physically, it, it tells your whole endocrine system to go be a good endocrine system. It doesn't, it doesn't like boost your thyroid or anything like that. This helps your endocrine system naturally. And because of um, the lack of, see how dark it is outside? That's my window and it's dark. And um, so 
when it's um when it gets dark our like our hormones and stuff start to shift endoflex helps us maintain healthy balance of our hormones even amidst all of that kind of stuff going on um and then my last thing is to create a great atmosphere that you and your family and your friends can associate with great times. So diffuse. Okay, you guys, if you haven't heard me say this a hundred times, take note now. Skip the candles. There's so many candles and air fresheners that claim to be like your holiday pine and your holiday fun and, and all of those things, candy cane and all those things. But any of those air fresheners and candles, they are synthetic fragrances. Even if they say essential oils, y'all, they're saying that it's a marketing technique. It's not for real. They're synthetic. Okay. I promise you, they are not even the main ingredient. If they are putting it on their label, maybe it's a little bit in there, but it's not any kind of a therapeutic grade. It's not doing you any good. And in fact, all of the rest of those um, chemicals in those. Uh, air fresheners or candles are can really um, damage you hormonally and clog up your I mean you're breathing that in that is going up into your olfactory system okay and you want to keep that clean so and not clog anything up so when you diffuse you not only um, can create this great atmosphere in your home but you can actually do something great for your body. I mean, Thieves has all that clove and cinnamon and all those things. It's really good for you and your respiratory system. And it's really uplifting. So my favorites are um, like Harmony, Gathering, um, that Fall Diffuser blends, all of those. I sent a graphic out. Um, I hope you all got that. Gratitude is a major oil to, to uh, diffuse, especially on Thanksgiving and leading up to Thanksgiving. But then there's all those piney Christmas scents, of course, Christmas spirit, but black spruce. Um, my little tip is add orange to everything. Orange and pine, oh my gosh, it's such a dream. It's so yummy. Like I even add orange to Christmas spirit, which has orange in it already. Um, it just lifts. It just is so uplifting. So, um, so I hope that was helpful. And um, now we're going to switch to Alana is going to talk with us about cooking with oils and some cool recipes and some tips. Awesome! Thanks, Michelle, for all that info. Um, hopefully, that helps us not stress so much, and we can move into this holiday season and enjoy cooking um, and not be stressed out about it. So I want to start out by talking about why. Why do we cook with essential oils? Um, and I'm going to be real honest. This is something that I, I've been using oils for seven years almost. And um, this is something I've just recently started doing and trying to learn how to do better and get more confident with it. Um, and part of the reason was because I didn't really understand why. Um, but there are several reasons. One is just because of freshness. So your oils stay fresh all the time. Um, I don't know about you, but when I'm cooking, I tend to, if I go to the store and buy parsley or cilantro or any of those kinds of things, I am buying them specifically for a recipe that I've got. And inevitably, whatever I don't use sits in my refrigerator and goes to waste. And um, I just, it doesn't get used up. And so anything that we can, that we have an oil for, that we can use instead of a fresh herb, it allows us to not have that waste. And it saves me time at the grocery store because I don't have to be looking for an herb that maybe I'm not familiar with. Um, and the oils on my shelf and it can sit there indefinitely, um, without going bad. Um, 
So that's one great reason. It's also easier. I don't have to take time to wash things and chop them up and everything like that. I can just grab my oil and put a drop. Um, and then of course, purity. We know that our oils are super, super pure and that we can be confident in using them and ingesting them. And <clears throat> with the way that our food is grown, you know, maybe we can't find something organic or um, maybe even the organic doesn't necessarily meet the standards that we would like to have. Um, but when we're using the oils, we know we can have confidence of what we're putting into our food. So and then one of the other big questions that people tend to ask when it comes to cooking with oils is, well, if you heat up the oil, aren't you killing the properties of the oil? Well, yes and no. Um, there may be some loss to some extent, but it's still better than using something else. You're still going to get some benefit from it. And there have been some studies done um, where they take an oil and they boil it, and then they take an oil and they bake it. And the boiling actually, the one that was boiled actually holds its benefits better than the one that was baked. So that's just an interesting tidbit. Um, one way that we can try to avoid doing that is, for example, if you're making something on the stovetop or in a slow cooker or Instant Pot or something like that, um, you do all the cooking and everything, and then you just add the oils at the end um, so that they're not in there during the process of being heated up, but they're still there while the food is warm. Um, over the weekend, I had some friends over and I made apple cider in my crock pot and um, added cinnamon and clove and tangerine. Um, and it was so good and it was really, really easy. And it just sat in my slow cooker and everybody loved it. And then there were other people who um, added even more oils to it after it was already in their cup. So that was super fun and so easy. Um, so, okay. So still use your oils, even though you may lose a little bit of the goodness, you're still going to retain some of its value for sure. And it's super easy. Um, the third question that people usually ask is, well, how do I know how much to use? We know that our oils are super, super potent. So you always want to go easy. You start out small. A general rule of thumb is for dried herbs, it's one drop per teaspoon. Um, but my tip is to always start with just one drop, taste, and then go from there. Um, and you're going to have some that are way stronger than others. For example, oregano. Go easy, easy on the oregano. <laughs> um, it's real easy to mess up a pot of spaghetti that way. So um, go gentle with that. Um, it's very unlikely that you'll need to use more than a couple of drops per recipe unless you're making like a huge batch that you're going to freeze or if you're, you know, having a million people over. But um, it's, it's highly unlikely that you'll need more than one. So let's talk specifically about um, different kinds of oils to use in recipes. So for example, uh, if you're using a citrus oil, where does that come from? It's not, it's not the juice of the fruit, right? It's the rind. So for a couple reasons, it would make it harder to replace. For example, if you have a recipe that calls for lemon juice, you're not necessarily going to want to use the lemon oil because... <coughs> Excuse me. Um, well, one, if it calls for lemon juice, the recipe is accounting for the liquid that's in it. And so if you replace it with the lemon oil, you're going to be missing liquid that the recipe needs to do what it's going to do. So instead, um, you can add lemon oil or whatever to enhance the flavor. Or if you have a recipe that calls for lemon zest or orange zest, then that's you can replace that with it because then you're not missing out on the liquid. Um, so again, that would probably be about, if it calls for a teaspoon of lemon zest, it would be about a drop of lemon. Um, so I think that's a pretty good rule when it comes to citrus oils. Um, 
And then black pepper is a great one. That's an easy one to replace because, you know, who wants to sit there and grind black pepper over a pot of food? You just take a couple of drops. We have made, um, my mother-in-law makes um, matzo ball soup. We celebrate Passover together and she makes that every year. And she now uses black pepper oil and dill oil in the recipe and it just, it takes the flavor up a notch. It's so good. Um, okay. Over the weekend, I also made some peppermint brownies. So that's another, you can use all the different mints, peppermint, spearmint, those kinds of things. And I made a chocolate bark. Um, we have a member named Mary Mick, who is a chef classically trained in France. And she has written um, a holiday cookbook. Um, and one of the things that she taught us how to make was chocolate bark. And you use tangerine and coriander. And you put those in the chocolate. And it gives it a real hint of, you know, very slight flavor, but it really, again, enhances that chocolate flavor. Um, and then, you know, Michelle was talking about adding a drop of orange to anything in the diffuser. Well, that's true for your food too. You can add it to, I've done it with um, like fruit dip, you can put it in yogurt, you can put it in cranberry sauce. That's my kid's favorite thing to put in their ningsha. Um, I, I remember even going to Michelle's house one time and her husband took grapes and cut them in half and put a <laughs> drop of orange and just mixed them up. And it was just, they were so good. Who would have thunk, you know, oranges and grapes, but they're fabulous. So I hope that gives you a little bit more of an idea of some things to do with essential oils and cooking. We do have some great recipes and we will get those to you within the next couple of days. Um, to think that maybe you can make over the holidays. Um, peppermint brownies are super easy. My daughter makes them all the time and she's 11. So you just take whatever recipe you typically use and add a couple drops of peppermint before you bake it. So simple. And we're going to shift a little bit and we're going to talk about some great um, gift ideas, whether it be for um, teachers, your kids' teachers as you're going into the holidays, or maybe um, you take gifts to work or have, want something to give your boss. Maybe you're going to a party and you want to bring your hostess a little something. And um, so peppermint brownies are super easy, right? So you take, I got this tin at Walmart. I think it was like a dollar. And I just took some tissue paper. I made some peppermint brownies. Mm, they smell so good. And that's a super easy, super inexpensive, something that can be made in bulk so that if you have three kids who each have six teachers, you know, that's an easy thing to get out. So that is a great gift idea. I want to show you, I did kind of the same thing with the chocolate bark that I made. And next time that I make chocolate bark, I will do... When you melt the chocolate, then you put it on parchment paper on a cookie sheet. And I made mine way too thin. So I'll make it thicker next time for sure. But you can see it turns out really pretty. It has chocolate and coconut flakes and apricots and pepitas, which I had no idea were dried, salted uh, pumpkin seeds. So it's super good. So you take that. I got this at the dollar store. Another great, super easy, pretty unique gift. Most, you know, brownies may be a little bit more common. Peppermint brownies obviously won't be, but <coughs> excuse me, the chocolate bark will, will be a little bit more unique. So um, those are a few of my ideas. Michelle, you wanna jump in? Sure. Um, so <clears throat> one, one of the things that you might consider, like, is, especially if you have somebody in your life who has um, either noticed that you um, use oils and they like your oils and you really want to bless them with 
you know, some oils in their life, um, consider getting them a diffuser, uh, especially like maybe like your kids' teachers. Maybe they would use it in their classroom. Like that would be fantastic, right? So <clears throat> there's all kinds of ways to make this like a really nice gift. So this is just a holiday wreath that I have. This one happens to be like on a stand, like a wood stand. Um, but you can use any kind of holiday wreath and then put any kind of diffuser in there. It just sits right in the middle of the wreath. And I thought that was just super pretty. You can also dress up your own diffuser that way for holiday decorations. Um, any of the diffusers could fit in there like a dewdrop diffuser or, or even the, um, the desert mist diffuser. I mean, that's just like, that's such a great gift and decor. Um, so I love that. Um, so a couple of other ideas like for teacher gifts is you could, you could make them like a classroom spray. Like, I think this is just such a funny idea. Somebody told me about this, um, where you make in a spray bottle, oh, I forgot to grab a spray bottle, where you just, um, put a little bit of salt and then add your um, oils that you'd want to. So like a classroom spray, you wanna affect a couple of different purposes. So you could choose either one that is going to like kill germs, right? So like you do some thieves, um, some lemon, some orange, and put that, in the, put that in there with some water and put a nice bow on it, make a nice little label. I forgot to grab all that, but that's just like an off the cuff idea. Or if you want, um, to help the teacher out with like, let's say you've got um, a preschooler and they have nap time or something like that. Like you can make a classroom nap spray and that would be filled with things like lavender. Um, what else is our, our great uh, sleepy time, any of our sleepy time oils, even like sleepy eyes from the kids sense collection, make a spray bottle of that and your teacher your kids teachers are going to love you for that for sure um you could also make a roller ball or there's the thieves roller now um so you could give this to your teacher because this is really going to help them with their immune system in the holidays like that's a super nice gift for a you know for a teacher um Let's see. Oh, I know what else I want to show you. Um, a couple of things. <clears throat> so like for like neighbor gifts, one thing that is, I mean, teachers, neighbors, anything. One thing that is super fun is, I didn't do my bow very well here, but is like I got these either at like Hobby Lobby or Target. And these are these really pretty jars. Okay, and you can fill them with the Epsom salts. Remember we talked about how inexpensive this was. And then you could put the oils that you really like, like peace and calming or stress away. And, and all you do is add like four or five drops, or if you want to be really generous, like 10 drops to a size something like this and give that to your neighbors, your teachers, they're going to want to know what that was because that was so amazing. Um, I know like I've gone to Walmart and gotten, you know, the, the mason jars. I like to get these lids for them. I think they're just nicer lids or you get the um, canning lids, but then you could put like a piece of material over that middle piece and then screw down that other side and then add a bow of some sort, and then just your bath salt mixture in there. I think that's just a super fun, easy, easy gift that somebody's gonna really, really enjoy. Um, if you've got, so, do you have a question? You can also go to Dollar Tree, and they have these ornaments, and the lid just pops off, and you fill it with the Epsom salts, and then you just put it back in, you can put a fun little tag on it, write something on the back wow yeah. that's super easy and festive okay show us that again wow. the lid came off hang on 
So super easy, Dollar Tree. And then that just goes back on. Oh my gosh, that's great. That's awesome, I love it. Love that. Um, okay, so if you have, have you guys seen the um, holiday catalog from Young Living? They've got a lot of great ideas. I feel like the last page has like a whole bunch of ideas of things that are under $25. Um, you could uh, get one of those little Christmas stocking things and put hand purifier. Every teacher would want, oh, look at that. Oh, that's cute, Alana. And you could yeah, put- Yeah, so again, I got this at Walmart. I think it was under $2, I'm pretty sure. And you have the thief spray that fits perfectly in there. And you know, you could throw a bottle of peppermint and make up something really nice and it'd be pretty inexpensive. That's awesome. The other thing I was thinking is the hand sanitizer, the pump is, um, that's a really good gift for um, a teacher mm -hmm. or your lash lady, just saying. Oh. Because <laughs> they use that stuff all the time. Another thing, you were talking about the holiday catalog. I thought about this earlier today. You could take a peppermint almond chocolate bar, and that fits real nicely. And then we have our wolfberry truffles, and you could just take a few of those and put them in there. I mean, who doesn't love chocolate, right? You put those in there, and then stick a bottle of maybe orange oil in the top. That is a super nice day. Right. Super easy. And I think there are very few people in the world who would not like that. That's awesome. Love that. So, um, but the, the holiday catalog has a lot of great things. Um, not just for gifts, but like it, for stocking up for you too. Like the, um, the, like the wellness collection, they are a bunch of supplements that, you might want anyway, but when they're packaged with the holiday collection, it's a much cheaper price, okay? So that's a great way to do that. Um, and then you do that on Essential Rewards and you're getting e even more of a discount. The other thing that I really love, my favorite holiday catalog item is this. This is the culinary, culinary kit. This is the most beautiful bowl. Look at that. And the inside is absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> like I was swishing water around it and I was like, this is amazing. Um, with a nice rubberized bottom. And it comes with a lid that has the thing that you can pop. So if you have something that's hot in there, it's, um, it, it can release. And it also have a little bit of breathing for like salads and stuff. So, but this is not the only thing that comes in that kit. It also comes with six oils and a beautiful rack. Look at this rack. Isn't that beautiful? I just love this thing. I'm so excited about this. You can totally put that in your spice cabinet instead of the spices that you've got in there. There you go. Isn't that beautiful? So it comes with uh, lavender, rosemary, oregano, peppermint, and cinnamon bark, which, oh, an orange that I dropped. Yeah, I dropped the orange. Um, cinnamon is the thing that I put in all the other things with the orange. All right. Then no kitchen set would be complete without utensils. And so it comes with a whole bunch of utensils, like really nice silicone utensils, four of them. So um, my, that's just my favorite. Um, so that kit, if you added up the prices of the Vitality oils, it's like $74. Um, the whole kit is only $84. So this is a real deal, okay? So it's like saying you get all the, all the, all the other stuff for 10 bucks, but it's just a great, it's a great package deal altogether. Um, and then just real quickly, I want to show you this. <clears throat> this is the advent calendar. It's so much fun. Look at how big this thing is. 
and it's heavy. It's heavy. And the box itself is like not some cheap paper thing. Okay, so that's magnetic. And look at this. I'm not gonna show you what's in it, but it is the most beautifully like embossed thing. And let me show you just for some perspective. So like, that's the size of a drawer. I'm not gonna show you. Hold on, let me see if I can. No, I can't do that one. No, I can't do that. <sighs> like, I can't really show you. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously it's Advent, it's got 25 drawers. And, <clears throat> and it's beautiful. Like I can see myself putting something else in it. Let me just show you like the perspective of like, so like that's a bottle of oil. Like, so that's a nice big box. Okay. So <clears throat> I am whipping up some sort of a special deal regarding this advent calendar and our Black Friday specials. Okay. I'm not going to tell you exactly yet, <clears throat> but let me tell you first. Okay. I'm not going to tell you what's in it, but if you are the kind of person who you seriously, you're considering getting it, but you will not buy it because you don't know what's in it. I am more than happy to give you the list of what's in it. I do have it in a list. You can text me and I will give you the list of what's in it. Okay. Um, I, I knew I was going to buy it anyway, but I can understand if you're hesitant to buy it because you want to make sure that it's worth it or you want what's in it. I'm, I'm good with that. So I will send it to you. You just can't publish that online. Okay. Cause we don't want to ruin any surprises for anybody else. <clears throat> okay. So like Alana said, we are, um, we are going to, um, send out, Yes, we are going to send out um, the recipes and things like that on a link to a page, okay? Because we know we couldn't give you recipes here and everything. So we could talk about a lot more things as well. So we'll include some other things in that. So <clears throat> before we do our giveaways, um, let me let you, okay, is that backwards? That's totally backwards, isn't it? No, it's good. It's the right. Okay. So <clears throat> we're doing these kind of webinars every month. If you want to get a text about the webinar, then make sure you text me at 469-301-1196. Text me just the word webinar, and that puts you on the webinar list. Okay. Now, <clears throat> because you've been in this webinar, you're going to get special deals for Black Friday, um, you want in on those deals or you want to know what the Black Friday deals are and the Cyber Monday deals are, you like, you want to know specifically. You don't want to have to find it in an email somewhere. You're not on Facebook, I get it. Text me the word deals and I'll make sure that you know what's coming up. But you'll also, if you have, it, okay, so send me two different texts, two different ones. <clears throat> so if you have what if you are on my webinar list and my deals list, then you will be eligible for a special um, a special offer just for our webinar people. Okay, <laughs> people are texting me already. <laughs> I love it. Okay, hear that? That's awesome. Okay, so you're gonna get in on these special deals. I'm drinking my nature. Okay. Um, I have a couple more tips for you. Um, the first one is if you're on essential rewards, I highly encourage you to go ahead and push through your ER order. Okay. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Um, push through your ER order now 
so that it doesn't get caught in the multitude of orders that are going to come through next weekend. Okay. Cause there's a lot of people who have their ER date set on the 25th, 26th, 27th of the month. <clears throat> and I get it, but this is not the month to be doing your ER order at the end of the month. And honestly, neither is next month because of Christmas and you're traveling and everything. So all that to say, like push through your order. Now look at holiday catalog stuff. That stuff will not be on the Black Friday deals. Holiday catalog deals will not have a, an additional um, discount. Okay, so you can, you can get them on your essential rewards. So you can get 10, 20, 25% back in your points. Um, that's a great time to do that. <clears throat> but at the same time, I'm gonna tell you, don't, don't, don't use your ER order for stocking up stuff. Because I'm telling you, Black Friday deals, are really good okay so don't on your er order well we already know like don't order lavender and peppermint because they're on sale on black friday okay um so there you have it so your er order i suggest that you push it through i also suggest that you take a look at the yl go shipping subscription okay if you haven't done it already which last um uh, no, right now and last month, we also, we did, if you placed a 400 PV order, uh, you got a product credit from me to pay for your while go um, in the amount of $65. The, the uh, while go membership is 59, which means you get free shipping on your essential rewards order for the entire year. Okay. Um, with tax, it co comes to about, it depends on where you live. It could come to um, uh, about $65. So I gave everybody a Everybody who ordered 400 PV or more, I gave them product credit. So here's the deal though. You could get YL Go Plus for 129. So basically 60, 70 dollars more. And then you could get 36. Um, you get your ER order shipped free, but then you get 24 additional orders shipped free. Okay, so that means if you run out of something, you could just order that one thing and not have to pay shipping on it at all. It also means that your Black Friday and Cyber Monday orders will ship free. I don't care how much it is. It could be, it could be Ningxia, it could be 10 cases of Ningxia Red and it's gonna be free shipping, okay? It, it's completely worth it. I looked at what I spent on my Ningxia Red order a four pack cost me $22 to ship. That completely, like me getting wild go, completely paid for that like within two months. Now I don't have to worry about what I'm gonna pay for shipping on Black Friday or Cyber Monday, whether or not I'm gonna to wanna to take advantage of those deals because I'm gonna pay you know, $10 more for shipping. I don't have to worry about that at all. So consider that um, investment is like, I think it's, I don't want to say a no brainer. It was really right for me. Okay. So it might really be right for you. If you're not yet on essential rewards, um, now is a really good time. What you're doing is you're setting your budget for um, future, like it, it's your health investment. So you get to budget out, like I'm going to get toothpaste and I'm going to get the household cleaner and we can work with you on what works for you. It, it's custom fitting it. Okay. And so you don't have to, you know, place a big order and stock up and then, and then forget about what you're doing. You get to actually plan it out and you get 10, 20 and 25% back in points on things that you can spend free. I have like over $400 worth of points that I can spend on whatever I want to order. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so um, this month, um, I'm giving away to somebody who signs up for Essential Rewards, I'm giving away like the coolest oil rack that I found. I posted in the Facebook group, but I'll put it on our link, okay? It's kind of cool. It's kind of like that, but not really. Um, but it's a really super cool oil rack, and I'm going to give that away to somebody who enrolls in Essential Rewards, and it could be you. Um, okay, our next webinar 
<clears throat> we're gonna do a comfy cozy Q&A. Okay, so you have to wear your pajamas, you have to have hot tea, okay, and you have to come with your questions. And we, this one is not gonna be recorded because any question can be asked and answered in any way we want. So you not only get to come with your questions, but you get to come with your suggestions for other people. All right, so it should be a super fun time. And Alana, did we decide we're gonna do that on December 3rd or 10th? I don't think we decided yet. We didn't decide, but we can do that. Either one of those works for me. Okay, but we will let you know, especially if you texted us um, webinar, okay? So now it's time um, to, let's give away some of our goodies. Okay, so <clears throat> I am, what are we giving away, Alana? Well, some good stuff. Yep. Um, okay, first things first. Um, I'm going to give away this tin. Ooh. And if you are local to me, I will fill it with peppermint brownies made by probably my daughter. Okay, so, so that's the first thing. If you are not local to me, I'll give you something else. Okay, so how do we, how do we decide this? Okay, um, let's do a, let's do a quiz. Um, I like it. Somebody, somebody tell me in the comments, um, what oil, what is the oil that I mentioned most tonight? <laughs> okay, that was Richard Kosoy, Kosoy, frankincense. Yeah, close tie with orange. Orange pretty much goes in everything. Okay, so Richard, you're our first winner. Excellent. Um, okay. Uh, let's see. Okay. California. Ooh, we very good. Okay. Very good. Um, awesome. Another thing we are going to give away is, um, what was the second thing we were going to do? <laughs> the, uh, the jar of bath salts. Okay. So I'm going to do a, this is a small jar. I'm going to do a big jar of bath salts. Okay. Um, and our bath salt winner has to tell us, um, your favorite, you have to type in the box, your favorite Christmas song. Ooh, I don't know if I can pick one. That's hard. I know, it's like, have you even, little drummer boy. <laughs> Mary. White Christmas. Oh, we wish you a Merry Christmas. White Christmas. Very good. Okay. Um, okay. Because I'm sending, Mary's my cousin. I'm sending her a Christmas gift anyway. So Danielle is going to be our winner. <laughs> Congratulations, Danielle. Okay. And then. Um, Are you ready for the big one? I am. And I'm trying to think of how okay. to do this one. Okay. How should we do this one, Alana? We should have thought about this. I was just I so excited about them. I know. Um, let's see. It's a good question. Okay. Um, <clears throat> tell them what it is. Okay. So, you guys, when we were talking about gifts, Michelle talked about the wreath, getting a wreath to put a diffuser in it. And so we are going to get a wreath 
and send it to you. But that's not really any good to you without a diffuser. Yay! So okay. this is a special diffuser because it's the home diffuser. And I don't know if you guys are familiar with it or not, but it's the one that looks like a rose on top. Um, and it is no longer available. You cannot get this anywhere. So this is special, special. So how are we doing this? I think we are going to do it <clears throat> by somebody telling us um, your favorite oil um, or your plan to what you're going to diffuse for the holidays. Okay, um, your holiday blend or what is going to help your home, your home's atmosphere for the holidays. Ooh, okay, Richard, that is really good, but you already won a prize. Believe with orange. Oh my gosh, that's fantastic. Jana, so good. spirit. Awesome. Danielle. And Robin Shriver, Joy and Abundance. Oh, I love Joy and Abundance, Robin. And that's awesome. Okay. So, let's see. Um, okay. Let me see. If that, is that? Jana Robinson. Okay, I will find out for sure. Um, it is Jana Robinson. Okay, it is. Okay, um, Robin Shriver, Joy in Abundance. I think that is a fabulous plan. Okay, Robin, you are a winner. <clears throat> Congratulations. Okay. Um, can you, each of you three text me at that number? Just text me like winner, okay? Because I want to make sure that I have your correct addresses to send these things to, okay? You guys, this was so much fun. <clears throat> I'm going to pop my... Does anybody have any questions? Um... I think we got to all of our um, announcements. Again, um, be looking towards those Black Friday deals. We will, um, I will be able to send you those on Wednesday. That's when they, we can tell everybody what's coming on Black Friday, okay? So plan for that. Um, or plan to get your essential rewards order already out, okay, and out of the way because <clears throat> Black Friday deals are never, um, you can't put those Black Friday deals on essential rewards, okay? So um, you are very welcome. I hope you guys all have a great evening. Thanks guys, thank you for coming and spending your time with us. Thanks everybody. And have a happy Thanksgiving. Yes. yes.